It was early signing day this morning in Pritchard for a couple of Viger High School football stars. Senior wide receiver Jerry and Graham and linebacker Brandon Purfoy deciding where they will take their talents next. Signing day. It's a day many student athletes dream of. Putting pen to paper and taking that next step on the journey to play college football. Two of Viger's finest athletes making their final decision this morning in the school's media center. Family, friends, teammates, coaches, and the community gathered round to recognize these two young men. Up first, it was Pure Foy, who head coach Marcus Cook says any program would be lucky to have. Someone's getting an asset. Someone that's going to play filthy physical football. That's going to play it the viable way and do what they're supposed to do, be where they're supposed to be all the time. Brandon had interest from a number of schools, but today it came down to one. The next one, yeah, I'll be attending Mississippi Valley State University. As he prepares to head off to college, Purefoy looks back at his time at Viger and the memories he made with his teammates. Oh, it was great. I wish I could have made it to the playoffs. It was great. I had a great season, especially playing with my guys for four years. It was great. Next up, it was Jerry and Graham, who stepped up and played quarterback for the Wolves this season, though he traditionally plays wide receiver. Graham has deep roots at Viger. He was a ball boy for the Wolves when he was younger, and now he's getting ready to play college ball. I say all the time, he went from the ball boy to the poster boy. Yeah. <laughs> He's fast. He can run. 10 6 guy, big frame. A college is getting an asset, and he loves football. Graham had multiple offers, but narrowed his decision down to two stay home and play for Kane Womack and the Jags, or take his talents to Louisiana Lafayette. I'll be taking my talents of academics to the University of South Alabama. <laughs> It's been quite the journey for both athletes to get to this point. I spoke with Graham about the recruitment process and the chance to be close to home. In my ninth grade, tenth grade year, I didn't have too many schools looking at me, so I was thinking like, oh man, I probably won't be able to go to college to play football. But after, after the spring of my 11th grade year, that's when everything started to pick up and come through. And after that, it had been stressful, but after I committed, everything kind of died down. And then now, since I've signed, everything's going to be good. To be a, I'm going to be a hometown hero. Congratulations to Jerry and Ann Brandon. We wish them the best of luck in their futures as they continue to do what they love at the next level. In other sports news, the Alabama High School Athletic Association announced its reclassifications for the 2024 through the 2026 seasons, meaning some of our teams will be playing in new classes next year. In football, the Robert Sale Bears will be moving up from Class 6A to Class 7A next season. Meanwhile, the road through 6A will be even tougher as the reigning 5A state champion Gulf Shores Dolphins will also be moving up a class. The new 3A state champion Mobile Christian Leopards will now move up to Class 4A, while Bayside Academy will move down from 4A to Class 3A. Over in volleyball, Bayside Academy has won state championships in classes 1A through 6A and will now look to win one in every class when they join class 7A next season. Reporting live in studio, I'm Emily Cochran, Fox 10 Sports.